What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Another mod review here. Game Captain back. Glad to have everyone back. Please smash that like button if you enjoy these quick little mod reviews. Me personally, it's been a while since I've checked out all the new latest mods in the community that have been released, and I'm, to be honest with you, I'm extremely excited. That's why I'm bringing you these videos. Today, we're going to be focusing on a new Parklets pack featuring 82. Yes, that's right. 82 new parks and with my you know london 2.0 series nearing end which i will have a video up at the end of this week uh kind of showcasing the entire city i think this would be a great uh you know a little addition there to the city with all the new little enhancements and all the new little parks that you're going to be able to add in those little uh tight little spaces so uh having said that please pay attention to the description below you're going to have to download uh two things okay just Listen to me here for a second. You're going to have to download two things. The first is going to be the Project Akar UI Enhancement, okay? Um, Sky did a review. I'll link his video down below as well. It's particularly for offline only, um, and it's basically a UI enhancement, and I'm going to show you a couple things here. First off, you can see that I have several new menus down here, several new little icons. I haven't installed all the little packs yet, but I will get to that depending on which ones they actually are and if they pertain to what I'm trying to get out of my city. However, today we're going to focus on the parklets, which I did install. So, like I said, you're going to want to download the Project Car UI Enhancement, and then you're also going to uh, want to download the parklets um, little add-on there for the Project Car's UI Enhancement. So it's two separate downloads, two files, both go right into your uh, your SimCity data folder, just like any other mod, just like I've showed you in the past. Please pay attention to the description below. I'm going to outline everything. So let's get started. This is just a little city that I built up here. I don't know. I was working on something. but uh, So what we're going to do, uh, like I said, parklets. We're going to go ahead and click this little tab here. And it's the same way um, you would lay a park in you know, the standard vanilla version of SimCity. The only difference is there's so many different ones. There's, I don't know if they're different or they've just been kind of pulled from the game and allow for you to freely lay them. For example, this little dump lot or whatever the heck this is this might have spawned at some point um you know through natural you know zoning or whatnot but since they were able to pull it you can actually plop it wherever you want uh and you know what like i said it's going to give you so many different little uh little options there and they have just you know the same way as normal low medium and of course high wealth some of the high wealth parks are awesome like this one for example this is a new little little fountain area uh, and I haven't checked to see if it affects land value. So let's check that make sure it really is working um, Okay, so land value over here is pretty much garbage and it does as you can see so if you add multiples you're gonna You're gonna go ahead and uh, reap the benefits of high land value And that's what we all want especially in my London 2.0 series or any series or city that you're trying to spawn those high wealth uh, buildings those high wealth uh, residents and um, this is really exciting. So uh, thanks again for tuning in. If you have any questions in regards to installing it or um, just basically flat out usage, uh, leave it down in the comments below. I try to apply to everybody. One thing to note, and I did know, or I did see in the description, is I think it's more so geared for higher resolution. I could be wrong about that. So if you're running like a low end PC, you might have issues just like anything else in life. If you run a low end PC, you're going to have more issues than somebody with a high end PC. But do your best with it. Let me know in the comments below if you have a low end PC and everything works properly, or if you have a low end PC and it doesn't work properly. Let me know. I'd like to hear it. Um, and stay tuned for more mod review videos and, of course, my London 2.0 series finale that should be up within the week. So thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.